these are no more. Hit me up on Instagram. It's a little bit short, so we're gonna have to go get that welded. Okay, so, story behind these wheels was, uh, What is good you guys? Before anyone says anything, I know I'm sweating a lot and my hair looks really undesirable. It's just super hot. But these are no more. We are giving these back and man, look at those. All right, let me show you the actual good side first. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That doesn't look as trashy, but man, those look beautiful on there. I do have to adjust the camera though, because you have, uh, maybe you can tell, probably not, but the camber on both wheels is in a little bit more than what I want it to be. Uh, this side is tucked in a little bit less. This side is a little bit more aggressive. So I'm going to have to get an alignment. But as of right now, they're on there. They sit pretty flush. And uh, we swapped over the Primo coilovers that I had with the uh, OG coilovers that Jake gave me. Do still rub a little bit on like, you know, bumps and like occasional turns. But I think rolling this fender this time will actually make a difference with that. Especially... Oh geez, yeah, especially right there. So these wheels are the Cosmos XT206R FF, I believe. Uh, that's because these ones are like the flat, the flat face. They're not concave. They are 17 by 8 uh, plus 30 offset, and I'm running on Potenza RE908As. I think is what these tires are. Either way, it's a super good tire. They feel really, really great. Um, I just gotta get a proper alignment, and then we should be golden as far as wheel and tire setup. I'm just happy that I'm no longer on stock wheels. Look at us, we're all, we're all, we're all squatted up with our cool looking wheels. It's currently rebuilding a caliper, hi buddy. Story behind these wheels was, uh, I was just scrolling through Facebook Marketplace, I was just doing my thing, you know, just looking at parts I can't afford. I came across this set of wheels I thought looked really, really nice. I was like, oh, that's a good price. He wanted 700 for the wheels, and I sold mine for 600 literally the day before, and I technically only paid 100 bucks for these wheels. One step closer to being able to drive to Boxer Fest and actually feel proud of the car. Um, I think, not in this video, but probably the next one, um, we are gonna actually end up putting the intake manifold and everything on to have a fun car again, but I wanted to get this out just to show you guys the wheels because I know I've been teasing it for a long time. You guys have probably seen it on like Instagram if you have me on there, which, you definitely should, just saying. I think that was literally all I had like to show you guys. It wasn't anything crazy, I just wanted to get that out there. I couldn't hold it in anymore. Oddly enough, I'm on the basic coilovers for Raceland when I have the Primos. And these ones feel a lot more planted and like there's a lot less sway with these on. And mine, they didn't look the prettiest. Honestly, I'll, I'll just show you guys, hold on. Alright, so, back home now. Just chilling, watching some crispy media, the good old stuff. So these are the $600 or $700 Raceland Primo coilovers with the adjustable dampening front camber. And I believe as far as the drop goes, it has a two to four inch drop versus the Racelands that I'm on now that have a one to three inch drop. So the reason I ended up taking these off is because they are completely seized at the collar. I made the mistake of not putting any C's on the first time when I put them on and I've only ever adjusted them like probably literally twice. So they just, you know, over time, over two winters, they just saw, saw better days. Say hi to the intake manifold guys. I think what I'm going to do is probably prior to my alignment, I'm going to go ahead and try to align it myself just to kind of fix my camber because this the way it was right now is perfectly fine. Um, on the new ones, they are in a lot more, which is why I'm tucking so much. So that's the front one right there. This is a rear. Same thing with this, especially back here. This is the only reason we had to actually change in the first place. Had I been able to adjust the height on the rear, I wouldn't have changed them at all. But changing them did make me feel a difference. Like I said, these ones felt a lot softer for some reason than the ones that I have now. They weren't in terrible condition except for the fact that the collars were seized. 
They felt great. The springs are still good. The preload is fine. Everything is good on them. They just got to unseize the collar. So I'm going to put these up for sale. And if you guys, as my subscribers, want to take, you know, want first dibs, hit me up on Instagram and I will ship out to you guys depending on where you are. It's honestly super refreshing to come out here and see this. Though, if you guys look, and you'll see what I mean from earlier, the super aggressive front camber over there versus on this side where it's not as aggressive but you can still see it a little bit but i feel like that's more practical than it is aggressive so i just gotta adjust this side a little bit that's all but i'm just excited to have them on there i really want to take off that god awful tire lettering i just haven't had time to do it but don't worry it's not staying on there i've noticed that it's going don't worry guys Today's definitely more of an impromptu video, so we'll see what else happens after this. I'm uh, actually just going to head out for a quick little drive, and uh, I'll be back with you guys soon. Okay, so a quick little ride I took had absolutely nothing to do with what I'm doing today but this is like four days later now picked up a exhaust tip from my buddy Jake and I put it on however it's a little bit too short but also a cannon tip we part of the cannon tip gang but if you look it's a little bit short so we're gonna have to go get that welded which is what we're about to go do right now somebody's dead Jay, huh you should probably replace your positive terminal yeah I know that is extremely loud. It is very loud. Like, oh my gosh. This thing is so fucking loud right now. Yo! <laughs> Dude! It's so loud! But you never understand, yeah You fucking with me like you never knew my plan, yeah Say you don't want me, but you acting like a stand, yeah Ayy, I said, oh damn, man, oh man, yeah You try to get me, but you never understand, yeah And now I see that you been fucking with your mans, yeah Left me alone, but I done grew into a man, yeah